Today we're tasting our light dark beer. The conundrum, the dichotomy of it all. Some of my favorite words. But yes, this is our light dark beer. It's light because it's low ABV. This is only like 3.3%, but it's a dark beer. So, you know, it's that. This was our really super simple. Oh, it has carbonation too. That's what I was hoping for, but I was talking. He was the whole talking thing. over it. This was our really super simple. This was our really super simple. This was our really super simple. Ruined hey, the whole thing. You heard the little and if you didn't, that's what it sounded like. <laughs> So, as I said, this is 3.3%. We bottled it just a couple of weeks ago. Not, not that long ago. It was bottled on May 18th. Today is May 28th. So 10 days and it has carbonation as you can see, but you're gonna see a little bit more right now. As you can tell from my glass, which Brian poured all nice and delicately, there doesn't appear to be foam or head retention. But if you look at Brian's glass, where I just chugged it for the... I could get a mustache drinking this. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ooh, it smells it's like beer. Decent. Yeah. Yeah, so it definitely had carbonation. The head actually is breaking down already, yeah. so the head retention yeah. isn't super, super great. It was an instant of... Yeah. So, Somebody can tell me why that's important. I never really understood that. I'm not really a beer guy. So, yeah. you know, we do beers on occasion, stuff like this. Anyway. But yeah, the aroma is very nice. Oh, yeah. It's, to me, it smells like a stout or a porter. It just has a nice, rich, smell. It's got those smell. deep, almost coffee notes. Like, yep. that's the closest thing my brain can connect it to. Yeah, coffee, chocolate. But I think that's because of the roasted grains. They yep. have that that smell that's kind of reminiscent now, normally, of chocolate or coffee. normally, if you were doing like all grain, you would use like a, a regular like two row or six row to make the malt, and then you'd use uh, uh, adjunct grains, they call it. And those are your darker malts and things right. like that. This is interesting because it was all one ingredient yeah. to make this. Yeah. Usually it takes quite a few ingredients to do it. So, yeah, I'm impressed. When we first started getting into beer making, we kind of, well, I'll admit, we kind of turned up our noses at the the, the malts, extracts. extracts. Yeah. We're like, oh, that's not making beer. Um, but one of our admins pretty much does this all the time. And he comes up with these fantastic yeah. combinations of infusing herbs. And it's really and stuff easy into because it. you're using an extract. And he's just boom, 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 making all these great and beers. And they all come out beautifully. And so we're like, you know, you might have something there. So that's there. where this video came from. So we tried it for this one, and we're already planning to try another one. And Brian's really irritated that I keep talking because he wants to drink it. So let's drink. Short sip time. Wow. That's really nice. Yeah, it's actually, it has a little bit of a crispness from the hops, that bitterness. Just the right amount of hops, I think. Yeah. Just right. I would not want to go any more than that. Any less, and I don't think you'd really even know they were there. Now, we ate prior to filming this because it's we've better. learned from experience that it's good to have something in your belly before you start drinking alcohol this early in the day. Even though this is like near beer. It's 3.3%. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is not a strong beer. This is one that you can have like, you know, a couple two tree bottles and you're still okay. <laughs> two, two tree? <laughs> yeah. Gotta say it like that, too. But I get the maltiness, I get that richness. It definitely doesn't taste like a 3.3%. It definitely tastes like a higher a higher stout or porter. And maybe that's just the dark roasts doing that. Did we take a note of the final gravity on this? 1.0 something, no. Because it has a really nice sweetness to it. I need a long sip. I cheated, I, I went ahead and yeah, had my know. Array. This is just really good. This this reminds me of my porter. It yeah. tastes like the porter that I made. Yeah. And because this turned out so well, we're we're already planning in advance. We're constantly planning in advance. That is our life. Plan in advance. I could go a little less on the hops. After the long sip, I could go I could go less on the hops. And so soon to be shown, sometime in the future, will be another beer, not like this one at all, completely different. 
but using similar practices, yet stepped up a she notch. She just means using an extract. Yeah. But it is going to be completely different and unique, and it's something that has been requested a lot that we've hinted at doing. Yes. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. Anyway, this is good, and I hate to just keep saying it's good. This is very rich, flavorful. It has a, a wonderful sweetness, as she said, which that's beer. Beer has non-fermentable sugars within it automatically, so it's going to be a little bit on the sweet side. That's why we add bittering to take that sweetness down. Otherwise, it just becomes a sweet ball, and it's just way too yeah. much. I am going to put a tasting note out there that's probably going to create massive amounts of hate mail. Oh, boy. But my first impression at the forward end of taking a sip of this is reminiscent of a cola. Yeah, yeah. Be I totally get cola. Because the cola nut flavor in beers. It's yeah. got that sweetness, but it's got that bitter I, I don't know bitter yeah. really isn't the right word but that's but there is a bitterness to it that's that's and what's caused by it's so really nice and then it goes into the more grainy notes um after that initial cola type sensation for me at least my initial impression is that i am extraordinarily impressed that as simple a process as we used and an extract produced something that tastes this good yeah that is impressive to me. And I did not expect that. I thought this is going to be like, okay, well, you know, considering what we did, this is a pretty... Right. No, this this is pretty good by any standard. Right. I would, I would, I this is better than commercial beers that I bought. Not all of them. There's a couple that are better. I was with you. I had a preconceived notion that this was going to be a lesser, a downgrade, if you will, from our typical yeah. beer practices. But I... Now, keep in mind, too, this is... Yeah. I, I think it's parallel yeah it's I mean, on this board is so easy it's like but this oh. is also like a clean slate you can add yes. anything you want to yes. this which brings us to the other beer that we're making as soon as we're finished with this video we're gonna actually going to be starting it yeah that's why she's all excited <laughs> but this is not quite as dark as some of the beers that i like but it's dark enough that i do appreciate it right one thing that i might do different next time is use two pounds of the elegant so we'll probably revisit this again, this yeah. particular product, to make a beer like this. But my mind is already going, oh, and this, and that, and this. And one of the... Chocolate peanut butter beer. That. That's what we're doing. See? Totally going to happen. He just went right in there and took it out before I could get to there. I had a story. He knew I was going to go on too, there, far too long. He just got to the point. There are a couple of chocolate peanut butter beers on the market that I used to love drinking. And I want to recreate that for us using materials that I'm more comfortable using. Maybe a slightly lower alcohol so that I can, you know, imbibe more of it when I want to. And uh, But I think this is the perfect base for that. It really is. This is a great base for that. That's that's where my brain went. Yep. Um, okay. Would I cook with this? Yeah. This oh, would be awesome sure. in stews and with uh, corned beef and cabbage if we ate corned beef. Um, chili. Chili. Yeah. Uh, Pretty much Anything that you would put a beer in, you can I use I think this it would in. be a great marinade for yeah. many things. This like, doesn't have a strong hops character. It's got a it's fairly bad. weak hops character, just enough to give a little backbone to it. Comes across as a sweeter beer, which is wonderful. That's the kind of beers that I like. Um, your darker beers tend to be like that. Very malty, rich. Um, you would not think this was 3.3%. Yeah. Even though, you know, I don't feel any, any effects from it. Not that I expect to with the four sips I've had, but... Yeah, um, as far as putting that in food, that's what I do. As far as eating, pairing it, drinking it with food, absolutely. Uh, pizza, burgers, hot dogs, um, stew. steak, stew. Yes, I mean pretty much whatever. I I would drink this with Asian food, Chinese food. I, I mean it's all good. Sushi. You yeah, know, I'm I really would, thinking Korean or curry yeah. even. I uh, just it goes with like everything. It's beer, you know. Beer. Yay, beer. Yay, I mean, beer. You, what do you drink beer with? This is what you drink this with. This is not a, but it's not a wussy, like. It's not watery. Pale it's light not, beer. It's not, it's not watery. It's actually it's, quite rich. Which it, it, I'm, Can you tell we're surprised by this? Yeah. Like, this it, was it, unexpected. I'm getting uh, the visceral feeling that I get from drinking like Guinness. Yeah. Where I feel like this is a meal. Yeah. Which, it's not as thick as Guinness. No. But it's along the same flavor profile, which is kind of shocking. I did not expect that. 
It's not quite there. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's like 60 to 70% of what a Guinness would taste like, but it's along the same lines. Yeah. Like for somebody to make this themselves, this would be close. And if you did just well, a couple little I adjuncts, I think you could actually make this taste like Guinness. The the visceral feeling, because like in my stomach, the way it feels like it's... Oh, gotcha. It's, it's more than just a liquid. It's... You need more. I need more. I need more. Well, I mean, it's not... There's not much point in putting back a quarter of a bottle. So part of the reason why Brian is pouring so gently is because we have a dark bottle, we have a dark beer. We really can't see in there very well to see if any and sediment naturally occurred. It. And that normally occurs when you natural carbonate. I leave about that much in the bottom. So if you notice the design of the said bottle, and we have mentioned this before, but I just feel like going over it again. Go for it. This neck, this taper here, if you pour it gently, the sediment would collect here. Works like a dam. Letting the liquid go um, through here into your glass. So it collects its own sediment for you. Uh, and that's why he's so gentle in this pour. She just gave you damn instruction. He knows his science of bottles. And I hate stuff in my He does. He drinks. really does. I ne when I drink coffee and tea, I always leave this much in the bottom of the cup because of the gag reflex from Jungle Brew. Years ago, nope, sorry, can't do it. So I still do it with like every beverage. I think the only thing is if I can see the bottom, I'll drink all the way to the bottom sometimes. But I, even then, I, I sometimes leave just like the last sip. Wasteful, yes, but keeps me from gagging. So, so we've done tasting notes. We've mm -hmm. done um, cooking with it. We've done uh, pairings. Mm -hmm. Drink alone. That should be an obvious answer for you. Yes, absolutely. We can drink it alone. We We've never graded a beer there. other than the barley wine, have we? Barley wine is the only one that we've ever given a score to. Oh, yeah, I think. So I have to come up with like my own personal judging system for beer. Well, I think it's going to be still the same as everything else because our our criteria okay. is five one, is it's good. Five means it's good and drinkable, and we would reach for it and, and have it. One um, is possibly toxic, and you wouldn't give it to your worst enemy. And ten is it is the shining example whoa. of that style of brew, and yep. there's nothing you could do to improve it. Now, define that style of brew. Is this a dark beer? Is this a kit beer? Is this an extract beer? Is this a light beer? Right. That's what I meant. <laughs> we don't know. If I go off of, <laughs> if I didn't know anything about this, and someone handed it to me, I said, say, drink this. Yum, thank you. May I have another? Yeah, exactly. But if I didn't know anything about it, I didn't know how it was made, alcohol level, anything about it, that's how I'm going to do my, my judging of score. I need another sip. For science. All right, do you have a number? I have a number. One, two, three, eight point five. Oh, you still made me. Ah! <laughs> closer that time, though. I was debating between eight and eight point five. I, I actually was as well, but. Well, do you want to go first? Because like I always make you go first. So I want to continue with that tradition. It's the gentlemanly thing. And to do. I will go first. Uh, the reason why I gave it an eight is because this is a mighty fine beverage all on its own. But that said, it has got the creative juices going into high gear. And so I am adding everything but the kitchen sink to this beverage in my head already. And would I like those variations better? Don't know. We haven't made them yet. So I knew I had to keep it high, but I wanted to give it that space again for possible future brews. Well, I'm looking at the scale may go to 11 someday. <laughs> You know, that's how I see it. Um, my thoughts on this are, I really like it, obviously, but I took it as, if I knew nothing about this, how would I feel? First, this is in my wheelhouse for beer. My style of beer. It's not quite as rich and viscous and thick as I like them. Thus, it's not a 10. Is it good? Is it something that I would order again if I ordered it at a place Yes, I absolutely would. Is it something I would try to recreate at home? Yes, probably make it far too complicated when I could have realized that it's just an extract. It's that the simplification of the process makes me go, well, it can't be that good. But my brain drinking it says, but it is. Now, I know 
there's a million ways to make beer out there. There's a ton of different methods and you can go crazy. You can make it as complex or as simple as you want. I am not a big beer drinker, especially anymore. The last couple of years, I really haven't drank much at all. So to me, my palate is much more lenient maybe than it used to be. I used to be more discerning on the beers. Like I would be able to pick out the dark beers and go, nope, I like this one, but not this one. Today, I'd probably be like, oh, they're all good, you know, more or less. That sounds weird, but I think you know what I mean. This falls into that category of, oh, that's really good. And I enjoy that. But what could I do to make it better? Well, like I said, it does have just a touch of that hops character at the back for me that is a little bit troubling. It's not perfect to me. Like It's fine. It's there. If I have a large sip and leave it for a while, I notice the hops, which I'm not a big hops guy. I do notice the maltiness and things like that. I'd like it to have a little bit more depth, um, a little bit more richness, and that would make this go much higher. I mean, I'm actually tempted to drop back down to an eight. I wonder just based if on what you I'm could saying. add uh, lactose to this. You can certainly add lactose to this. That would make it sweeter and give it a little bit more mouthfeel. Because I'm remembering that Dragon's Milk or whatever, yeah. the one that Ben had, uh, I think that would be a good base for that as yeah. well. But also, I would definitely use more of the malt extract. That would give it a richer flavor too. But overall, this was a success. And if you've never made beer before and you're wanting to make something interesting and unique that is all yours. And simple. And simple that you can make in less than an afternoon, this, this is your huckleberry, okay? <laughs> <In> the, <laughs> this really, this is just so good that way. Um, really enjoying it, and now I want more of it. But um, if you like this video, look up. There's another one up there. You might like that one too.